You likely know SpaceX for their reusable rockets, which can land with the precision of a helicopter. But in order to achieve that, they used a test vehicle known as Grasshopper. Grasshopper was announced by SpaceX in 2011 as part of their plan to reuse their rockets, which would significantly bring down the cost per launch. Grasshopper was an experimental rocket that allowed SpaceX to gain valuable data on how to hover and control rockets with the precision needed for a landing. The first version was 32 meters tall with a single engine and fixed landing gear. It used the same internals as the first stage of their commercial Falcon 9 rocket. In 2012, SpaceX began testing the flight capabilities of Grasshopper. Its first flight was a quick 1.8 meter hop with the engine only firing for about a second. A couple months later, in November, SpaceX showed the rocket hovering two stories above the ground for eight seconds. This was especially impressive because they showed that they were able to keep the rocket pointed upwards by vectoring the engine. Over the next year, Grasshopper performed higher and longer test flights, including a divert test where the rocket flew 100 meters horizontally before lining itself back up with the pad and landing. Grasshopper's final flight reached an altitude of 744 meters, and it was retired after a total of 8 flights. The successor to Grasshopper was initially just going to be called Grasshopper 1.1, but it was later renamed to Falcon 9 Reusable. This version was based on the new Falcon 9 version 1.1, and its size was increased from 32 to 48 meters. It also swapped out the fixed landing legs for retractable ones. Falcon 9 Reusable completed the same types of flights as Grasshopper, making it up to 1000 meters, and on its third flight it was equipped with deployable grid fins to help it steer on the way down. On the fifth flight of this rocket, however, a critical sensor failed and led to the rocket self-aborting the flight with a huge explosion. After they lost their test vehicle, SpaceX switched testing to their production Falcon 9 rockets and started attempting landings after they launched their payload into orbit. And in December of 2015, SpaceX finally landed their first orbital rocket booster in Cape Canaveral, Florida.